Well, I wanted to catch this real quick. We were talking about how the system works, and all of a sudden it triggered the drain. And so I figured I'd start filming right away so that you could see the water coming into this aquaponic setup. So what just happened a minute ago is that the water inside the tank and we got high enough that the water coming across that elbow came in here and it's just in a hole inside this little plastic bottle on a little fishing line and when the bottle fills up it drops down and when it drops down that opens the flush valve inside the tank so just like that from the weight and then after the water in the tank has drained out into the aquaponic setup um, then the bottle comes back up and off it goes so then the water just sits there and underneath the clay everything is moist um, whereas up on top it's not so the way this first um, simple aquaponic setup works is the fish are in here um, and this is dirty because well it's not really dirty it's got kelp in it which is to feed the plants and the fish are fine you can also see some duckweed that the fish like and these are some little shy baby fish and there's a pump running it and it tees and that pushes water out through those holes so that it aerates the water for the fish <clears throat> and then on the other side it comes up to here fills the top and up here is growing duckweed and then there's just a little siphon valve that allows um, the water to fall down so it's being pumped up and then falls down so here's growing some natural fish food from there the water falls down into this reservoir just made out of again another barrel and depending on how open this valve is determines how fast the water comes in here and that determines how fast the water fills this reservoir <coughs> And that determines the amount of time between um, flooding the table. And so then down the road, as the fish solids begin to accumulate, there will be some more worms added to the clay. And the clay is just the media, and there's no nutrients in that. So that's just the media for the plants to grab onto with their roots. and and um, the nutrients all come from the fish so this is a first prototype of this hydroponic system and it's all set up to test out the concept and we'll see how well the growing does and coming up in here will be some of the basil that I showed you up above and We'll also see the tomatoes growing and how the fish are doing and so on and so forth as time goes on. But this is just the first installment on how to make your own food.